Hey, it's Fasties Prime here, and welcome to the Alters uh, demo version of the game. So this uh, just recently came out. It's something I've had in my wish list for a while. It looks interesting. Is it something I'm going to enjoy? Don't know. We'll find out because I haven't even tried it at all. So let's go straight into the game. Let me just check the volumes here. Might be a bit loud. All right, let's go straight into the game and yeah check out what the demo is about Did I end up here? My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. And the destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown, I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? So, I don't know exactly a great deal about it, other than I have seen footage originally of uh, me and being lots of duplicates of me in a place to establish a base and all this sort of stuff. Um, that's about it, really. capsule. Ah, 
Maybe the radio's broken. Looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. base. There it is. Dolsky here. Anyone copy? If you can hear me, I've located the base. to try and get down there. Maybe they landed closer to the drop-off point. I gotta keep moving. Now, I don't know if we get attacked by anything, or it's more story difficulties without being attacked. Uh, no idea.
Anybody here? Okay. Yeah, look to get to the planet. For a moment, I hope someone else made it. I need to find the comms room and get help. Is anyone home? Find the communication room. I have to find the communication room. Call for help. The company might not know about the accident or that someone survived. Uh, okay, I'm there. Communication room is up to the left. I don't know what a... It's an elevator. Uh -huh. Storage. Got metals, mush, organics, raw foods, radiation filters. Oh, that must be an elevator. Okay. Base building. Build new modules and expand the base. Uh, base navigation. Allows you to plan and start journeys between locations. Oh, you actually move it. That is you call. Hello, hello, can anyone hear me? Mayday, Mayday, anyone? Yeah, uh, I'm here, but uh, uh, I'm not the captain. I'm just a builder. Jan Dolsky, corporate ID 4672B. The captain, the whole crew is gone. Hello? Can you get me out of here? Remaining to what? Talk to me. What's the danger? Oh no 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 no! Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? You mean, you mean a, a star will come and, and burn this planet? And I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? <laughs> Sunrise. Perfect. I need to find those captain's logs. Okay. Navigate to the logs. Evacuation procedure. In case of an incident that jeopardizes your mission and the safety of your crew, please follow the safety protocol and move the base to a safe location. 
Following steps must be accounted for, refueling the base, manufacturing necessary equipment, securing food supplies. The steps will automatically be automatically tracked on your HUD. Triple star systems. According to, according to recent Ally Corp research and based on data collected from multiple missions, triple star systems are considered as potentially related to a very high probability of discovering rapidium in the Ally Corp classification system. The precise correlation between triple star systems and rapidium is yet to be scientifically determined, but according to some hypothesis, these may be related to the unique radiation cycle observed on planets belonging to such systems. Rapidium as a highly unstable element and itself emitting significant amounts of radiation seems to be elusive in the presence of such specific radiation patterns as if fine-tuning it life cycle to the environment. Ally Corp employees should be aware that thanks to these findings in the upcoming years we are bound to witness a significant rise in missions sent by the quantum navigation system on course for a triple star system which as should such a system be identified in the vicinity of an Ally Corp exploration vessel. This should by all means result in a notable increase of successful rapid M extraction and a major breakthrough for Ally Corp and human alike. Mission captains must be informed, however, that operating on planets belonging to a triple star system involves the need for some precautions. The complex gravitational structure which, within which the planet operates, apart from being the source of rapid EM friendly radiation, may result in life-threatening events such as periodic lethal proximity of one of the stars, annihilation of the planet's surface and immediate destruction of all life forms. In order to maximise efficiency, even in the event of such occurrences, Ally Corp has equipped its vessels in the cutting-edge SEBA evacuation functionality, enabling the crew to extract Rapidium while avoiding hazardous conditions. In the case of landing on a planet belonging to a triple star system, please consult the SEBA evacuation functionality manual for further instructions. The above information is the sole property of Ally Corp and is highly confidential. We kindly remind you that any infringement of your confidentiality agreement will result in legal matters. Quantum navigation. All right. The quantum navigation system is a state-of-the-art route planning solution designed and implemented by Ally Corp to organize the efficiency of a space mining operations. How does it work? While the crew remains in cryosleep, the system actively monitors the ship's surroundings, modifying its trajectory and setting it on a course for the most probable location of available resources. Based on cutting edge technology, it collects mass amounts of quantum information, analyzing it in real time to determine the highest probability of discovering Rapidium in a nearby system and eliminate non-efficient exploration. While the ex expectation of finding Rapidium is classified as moderate or high depending on mission specific settings the ship's trajectory is adjusted accordingly and landing procedures are initiated a notification is sent to mission control to maximize to ensure maximum support at the onset of new environment explorations the above information is a sole property of Ally Corp and is highly confidential. We kindly remind you that any infringement will result in legal matters. Okay, escape the sun. The fundamentals. Follow the instructions to prepare for your journey or gather six metals outside. On. Manufacturing necessary equipment. Locating organic matter deposits requires the deployment of an Aloco polygonal scanner. This handy tool alongside other necessary equipment such as mining outposts and pylons can be crafted in the workshop module 
of the base. Is this the workshop? I don't think it was, was it? Mm -hmm. Machinery? Small storage? It'll be a machinery. Workshop module of the base. What does that mean? Probably can't do it because of the elevator. Hang on. Yeah, all right. Okay, workshop. Tools, components, and other important items can be created there. The most important part of the workshop is a state-of-the-art 3D printer. Okay, it's saying we need four of those items, whatever that is. I've only got three. I guess that's where we go outside. During night radiation, leaving the base would be deadly. The airlock is locked at that time. So do we just pass time then? A 
alarm clock. It's like the hour at which you will wake up the next day. The more sleep you get, the longer you will remain fully effective. The clock tells you at which hour you will run out of work energy. Without it, you will be tired and work much slower. If you're not asleep by the time all your energy runs out, you will collapse from exhaustion and wake up the next day. All right. Can I go outside now? Find shallow deposits on the planet's surface. They contain a limited amount of resources that can be extracted quickly. They can be recognized by red dust approach deposit to interact with them. statistics there is 10 of 50 water they haven't got much storage alright alright so we got to find organic Over here, there's some blue smoke. Okay, now we can climb that. There's a shuttle over there. Looks like our ship's cargo drop. It's filled with the crew's personal items, including my stuff. Uh, multi-tool? 
My multi-tool, a convenient set, one of the few things everyone should always have in their pocket. I used it countless times to open bottles, fix things and well open more bottles. It was a birthday present for mum for my 18th birthday. Of course she pretended it was father's idea but I knew better. Marked cards, cheap worn out cards I bought in a kiosk next to my high school after seeing older boys play and smoke after classes. They played for money which made the whole thing even cooler. One of them caught me staring. At first I thought I would get a beating but instead he decided to teach me how to mark cards to win. Soon playing with those cards could make my pockets clink with chain. Yeah, this is one of the things they told me to take on the mission. Things that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Objects that trigger good memories. Typical corporate bullshit. We should look for organics here. Alright, the scanner allows you to find resource deposits. By placing and connecting probes, you can discover the concentration of underground resources. Find the deepest spot of the deposit.
have no idea what this is supposed to be doing. I'm not, I'm not understanding this at all. Deep, but I didn't get this at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. How is that not the deepest part? Let's have a sleep. I don't know what the heck. I don't get that probing thing at all. Scan the area to find a deposit. It's not making any sense to me. I'm not getting it. I'm missing something. Clearly I intelligent enough. Yeah, I know I'm tired.
sure. I need to collect a sample. Quantum now system isn't that useless after all. Where it was sending us. Except. Right. Still back to this thing. Scan a laser to find results by placing and connecting probes. You can discover the concentration of underground results. And then what? Right? So... I don't understand what you're actually telling me to do though. How much of an area do I need to scan? Now it's done. LT. Build a building mode. Hold to see objects to build. Using pylons, you can connect mining outposts with the base. Each pylon automatically connects to nearby structures. You can see possible connections in the form of green lines when you have the pylon equipped. Pylons can also be connected to each other. Place them in a line to connect the mining outpost with the bait.
where does this have to go to get camp? You have connected a mining outpost to the base. From now on, you can use fast travel to move quickly between the base and the mining outpost. You can access fast travel at the airlock base or the trims. Okay. Extract eight organic matter out to the outpost. I can recharge myself. So if I want to fast travel, how does that work? Ah, okay. So I'd have to sleep. Oh no, we got enough. Okay, report your findings. Uh, what do I do? That would be in the captain's thing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Hello? Anyone copy? I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be... Rapidium. You hear me? I think I found Rapidium. You sure about it? What? I... I'm sure. Yeah, I mean... What else could it be? Test it. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? The blueprint provided. The womb. A blueprint? The womb. You want me to build a womb? Some sample of DNA provided. This is fucked up, but what the hell? At least I got your attention. DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth. Energy 10 hours, all energy 17. So that's the maximum. Rapidium. First discovered accidentally by the Allied Corp near space exploration vessel on the 842 Hermes asteroid passing Earth, Rapidium revolutionized the way we think about accelerated growth. Called by its enthusiasts the time-traveling element or the savior element, 
It emits a unique type of radiation which can transfer raw energy directly into the mitochondria of organic cells, projecting matter into versions of its future self within hours instead of years. Why are we exploring the most distant corners of space to find it? The answer seems obvious. Multiple research confirms that the potential of rapidium is almost limitless when it comes to infusing life to crops even in the most challenging climate conditions while reducing the time and resources needed to grow them practically to zero. The implications are immeasurable. Finding and collecting a substantial amount of rapidium will allow for the restoration of agriculture on Earth, putting an end to the global catastrophe of hunger. Ever since making this groundbreaking discovery, Allied Corp has become fully committed to bringing the saviour element to Earth and makes continuous efforts to invest both in accelerated growth and space mining technologies. Always proudly at the forefront of striving for the future of humanity, never falling back. All right, providing food. Depending on the circumstances, the evacuation procedure of Ceiba Base can take up to several days. Proper nutrition of your crew, crew during that time is essential. Food supplies can be prepared in the kitchen module. If food shortages are detected, the evacuation procedure will be assessed as too risky and the quantum computer will prohibit its initiation. Alright, uh, pylons, yeah, we did all that. Fast travel, being tired, we did all that. So, it took me a while to get used to where the heck we to go. Okay. So we've got a few things. There's the womb, the kitchen. Alright, so if we want a kitchen. Oh, uh, that's quite big. Very big. And the womb. Also big. Okay. Uh, I like the look of something different. Hang on. Why not have enough materials to build another one? Okay, I could... Can I move that one? Trying to maximize the amount of space. I mean, this is only a demo, so maybe I don't need to worry too much. What's the problem? Some modules are not connected. Do you want to disconnect the chat? Disconnect. What modules are not connected? Are you complaining about this? So you don't like that I did that.
elevator back there. Happy now? Okay, so I have built a womb. Now, what could possibly come out of it? You consume one meal each day. Meals can be prepared in the kitchen. Okay, hang on. What's that task? Six mushies. That's two. So I'm guessing that's six. Alters. Food. Okay. Test Rapidium. Here goes. In a sample. Rapidium. <laughs> I'm starting to worry this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> oh. Oh, of course. <laughs> what else? I'm going to call you Molly. Uh, okay, so is she beard? Did the rapidium the DNA sample provided was a little surprising, but it worked, I think. I cloned a sheep. Hello? Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep on board. You're responsible for two lives now. Go. I did. It's fantastic, isn't it? I just have to get out of this alive to claim my medal. You're in imminent danger. Only a short time remaining to survive. I know that. But I'm just a builder. I'm not trained to move the goddamn base all by myself.
Start the engines in the command center. Okay, so that's down one. you to plan and start journeys between locations. Test the engine. Turn the lever in the machinery. Let's give it another go. Do I have to go back up or what's the radiation barrier? can't get out of here. I did everything according to the manual, but there's a malfunction I can't fix. I just don't know how. Repeating to save you. I need to check data consistently. Uh, I Save me how? Maybe you can save me? How exactly? <laughs> Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Man, that was easy. Uh, quantum computer. Okay. Straight across. Select an event. Early childhood. How do you select that? Childhood memories. Fuzzy and distant. The mining town you grew up in. Rows of similar apartment blocks. The local grocery store mom worked in. The playground where you spent more time than at home. Growing up, a family like many others down there, your father coming late from work in, my, in the mine, usually drunk, always pissed off, your mother doing her best to keep the family together, your constant desire to run away, to get out of that place and never come back. Turning a blind eye, another shitty day at school, you're taking the longer route home, hey what's the fight about, the boy scouts, shouts for help, 
He's looking straight at you. You should intervene, but the fear. No better not... No, better not get involved. Jeez, learn to read. Run back home. One day you'll get out of here. You have to. Uh, we seem to escape. It's so hard to study for exams when your dad's yelling behind the door. Mum doesn't have the strength to fight anymore. Something's wrong with her. She's weaker, more passive. You know you should do the best to support her, but being home is just unbearable. You count the days to graduation, hoping those exams go well. At the crossroads. You open the envelope with trembling hands. It's a good college and it's, good, it's close to home. You could visit mum regularly and get a good education. You tear the paper and see the results. No, not good enough. The only place that wants you is hundreds of miles away. You'd have to leave mum alone with him. Moving away, you promised yourself you'd get out of there. You have to keep that promise. You can't waste your life. It's not something she wants. And you can still visit her. A little less often, maybe, but you can. You will visit her. Too far from home. It's been months since you've been home, but you can't miss the post-exam party. All your friends will be celebrating. Their company makes you feel good, like you found your place. Do you really want to spend the entire day on the train? Only to see mum for a couple of hours before she goes to bed early and all you'll be left with is a constant drunk oaf of a father. Seasonal job. You look at the letter. It's tempting. Working abroad for two months, you could earn enough to support yourself for the whole semester. You could ditch those lousy part-time jobs and focus on studying. It's tempting and you could send some money to mum. She needs it for her treatment. Too late to say goodbye, you missed it, the moment she collapsed, the ambulance taking her to the hospital, it all went so fast. You missed the opportunity to talk to her when she was still conscious. You're back home now, but what difference does it make? You effed up, it's too late to say goodbye. Doing it for her. You failed her, but what could you have done? Stayed behind in that miserable place to become bitter and dead inside, be like dad? The sense of guilt holds you by the throat. What if you ran away from it all? Ditch college made a fresh start. Forgot. But wouldn't that be giving up again? No, mum would want you to get on with your studies. Get a good job. You have to carry on for her. Meeting Lena. Your heart pounds at the thought of this evening. You never thought someone like Lena would want to hang out with you. Slow down, it's only a project. Maybe you should have got something better than beer. You could have bought wine, but wouldn't that seem like you're hitting on her? You're only teaming up for a project, but she's so different from anyone else you ever hooked up with, and she likes you. You can see she likes you. Moving in together, this is it. She's moved in, but is my cheap little rental, little rented flat good enough for her? Her parents would hate it, you know they would, and she knows it too. Is that why she doesn't talk to them anymore? She's not ashamed of you, is she? Whatever they think of you, you're going to prove them wrong. Work hard and give Lena the good life she deserves. Your opportunities. Hard work pays off right. You can be proud of yourself, a diploma with honours, and that offer a PhD. It's tempting as hell, but the salary. How much longer are you going to be a broke ass? But Lena, uh, you think about it later. Time to celebrate now. Leaving the university. It was a tough conversation, but you handled it well. The professor understood your motives. Working for a private company gives you better prospects and you'll finally be able to move out of that dorm. Take Lena for a proper holiday. Yeah, it was a good decision. The Purgatory of 9 to 5. On the subway again, damn, you hate that crowd day in, day out. Maybe you could take the later train and stay longer at work. No, your boss would never agree to that. Punctuality is all that matters to him, not what you actually do. Sometimes you feel all he needs you to do is punch your card. And for what? Pushing papers and pretending to get things done? Someone pushes you as you try to take a seat. Man, Monday mornings are the worst. Dream house. Your face beams as you exit the bank, hand in hand with Lena. Finally, signing the mortgage papers was easier than you'd expected. Maybe it was worth putting up with that idiot of a boss for two years to get to this place. A dream house. Lena was so, has so many ideas for decorating it. 
If you hurry, maybe you can even get it ready for Christmas. You'd love to see her parents' faces when they see it. Yeah, you should convince her to invite them over. When the crisis hits. No, this can't be true. Not now. You stare at the screen blankly. You heard about the crash on the stock exchange. You heard everyone talk about a worldwide crisis approaching, but you, laid off, how will you ever tell Lena about it? What about your plans for Christmas? Trudging back up the hill, red lights, you close your eyes and listen to the city traffic, damn radio, all you know are Christmas songs at this time of year. You don't want to be reminded of that, not when you're sitting behind the wheel of a leased cab. It's almost six o'clock, you promised Lena you'd be back for Christmas Eve by five, but it's a busy night and people leave bigger tips on Christmas. Lena's great chance. You listen as Lena talks excitedly. She really wants to take that offer, move abroad, sell the house, but for now, how, but for how much? It would hardly be enough to pay off the bank with the soaring rate of interest. And what about you? It's hard to find a decent job at home, let alone in a foreign country. After all your efforts to make ends meet, it would feel like going back to square one. Damn, you just wish she didn't want it so bad. Asking her to stay. You're wondering if she really is okay with the decision to stay. Maybe you should have said yes, but how could you? It was a crazy idea in your situation. You need to prove it to her. That it was the only sensible choice. You need to get your shit together. Give her a better life here. Maybe find a second job. Relationship problems. Damn, she's getting, getting on your nerves. Why doesn't she just tell you it's all your fault? Those bills are piling up. As if you weren't working hard enough. And why does she make such a big deal of a few drinks before you hit the sack? You deserve to unwind after a 12 hour long day of work. Losing Lena, you look down another bottle and the wedding ring she gave back to you. A job at Ally Corp, freedom, finally she's got it. A new, a better life without you. All you could ever do was hold her back down. Look at yourself, drowning your sorrows in a bar. You're everything you promised yourself you'd never be. Where the hell did you F it all up? Learning about the mission. Jesus, how long does this go for? You toss and turn in your bed. You can't stop thinking about that Ally Corp poster. Help us make a change. A space mining mission in search of that mysterious substance, Rapidium. It's a long shot, but it says you don't need any professional experience. And you know you need a change. You haven't managed to stick to one job for, mo for more than several months. Nothing makes you happy. You're stuck. What if it's a way out? Project Dolly. You enter the spaceship with a tingling of anxiety and excitement. You're going for to space. Far away from here, just like you always wanted. Far away from your problems. You'll think about them later. Or maybe they'll be gone by the time you get back. Uh, okay. Well, that's our entire life. How did they get it, and what for? Uh, good question. Hey, I checked the quantum computer. Mind records? What the hell are you doing with that data? It's got everything. My whole life exposed. No, no, no I want answers. Shit. What do you want with it? No branching? What exactly will be branching? This is money. What? You what? Is that your whole answer? No. Alter? Alter what? Repair? 
Pitium. Cloning a sheep. Branching... Myself? Altering my life by messing with my own memories? I mean... Whatever it is you want me to do... No. No way in hell. Give me my other options. You're in imminent danger. Only oh, one time remaining to solve this. You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? All right, initiate the branching. about technician 50% efficiency when doing basic maintenance maintenance so this is this is moving away it's just staying at home. Alright, so when we move away, staying at home, you lock the door to your room and turn the music up. You're so fed up with this constant shouting. Is this what you rejected college for? Putting up with this frustration and drunkenness? You told yourself you'd take care of mum, but he's not making it easy. Maybe next time you should just lock the door for him, but what would mum say? So this alter it would be a technician, would have plus 50% efficiency when doing base maintenance. Okay. So what, do you read all of these now to find out the new person? Forcing him to leave. There you did it, not so hard after all. He turned out to be weak, begging you to let him in. You had to be strong, assertive. You read about it online. Shut your ears to, this false, to his false promises. Imagine loud music in your head. Think of mum her safety there it's done you won't be a problem anymore ups and downs you laugh as mum tells you a joke she heard in the doctor's waiting room she's cooked her pierogi 
Man, don't you love them? And her relaxed, smiling face when she can be herself without that monster bullying her. You just wish you could find more than a part-time job to support the two of you. That prescription she brought home today is going to cost you plenty. Rejecting the offer. You smile as you walk away from the mine. Dad was behind that job offer, that's for sure. Trying to clear his conscience, redeem his sins. Steady job was tempting, but you were assertive again. No way you'll owe anything to him. You'll make it your own. You always do. Final goodbye. You hold back the tears when you look at her on the hospital bed. You knew this was coming, her health deteriorating faster than the last month. You just didn't want to think about it. You hate that helplessness. Damn, get your shit together, Jan. Is it Jan or Jan? You need to be strong for her. Promise her you'll make something of yourself. Keep her smiling to the very end. Becoming a technician. You brighten up as the engine starts. Yeah, fixing things always made you feel good. Like you really can change things, make them better. Looks like going to that vocational school wasn't just a parting gift for mum, but the best you could do for yourself. Father figure. Feels good to become an expert on something the boss says customers ask for you specifically, and he can see you replacing him when he retires. It's a new feeling to be trusted, respected by another man, a mentor, and he's the first person you opened up to about mum's passing. Why couldn't dad just be like that? Suspicious visits. You try not to eavesdrop, but it's the third time this month these fishy dudes are here, talking to your boss behind closed doors. He says it's nothing, but you can see he's distracted. Doesn't look you in the eye that much, disappears for hours, leaving you in charge of the business. Is that a good thing, or should you be worried? Fooled again. Fake batteries, counterfeit parts, is that what it's all about? As your boss has been taken away by the police, you feel like an idiot for trusting him thinking that you could open up to him, while all this time he's been lying in your face, pretending to be a friend. What a fool you've been. Treat it as a lesson, Jan. The only person you can rely on is yourself. Walking away. Of course it was just a matter of time before they approached you. Now that he's in jail, his words about you replacing him seem so ironic now. You don't want anything to do with him. But what if you lose your job? You love that workshop. But they're criminals. No assertiveness. Remember, don't be scared. You can make it on your own. Starting anew. As you turn the paycheck around in your fingers, you think of mum. She'd be happy to know you're finally making good money, working in an international factory on a contract of employment. You stayed strong and made something of yourself. She probably would be worried that you're still on your own, but that's the way you prefer it. Ghost from the past. Watching the bartender pour you another one from the corner of your eye, you catch a glimpse of a figure watching you. You turn and you see it was just somebody's coat. You smile with relief. For a moment you thought it was Dad. You sip your drink and listen casually to the conversations at the tables. It's not... It's good not to have problems. Ah, bad habits. Your friends burst out in laughter. The jokes just keep coming to you. It's a good night. You just got your paycheck and you're buying rounds. Okay, calling these people friends is a little too much. You've only just met them. But you're having fun together, right? The girl to your left's been giving you signals. Could this be the right, the lucky night? Financial crisis. That damn crisis just here had to hit when you were starting to actually enjoy life. Your whole branch has been shut down. You'll be lucky if you keep your job at all. And this damn advert just gets on your nerves. Repidium. A magic trick to make everyone happy. Who's stupid enough to even think of going on these missions? Seeing him again. You can't make up your mind. Bet safely or take the risk. Wonder who that guy is putting his money on. Wait, is that shit? It's him, Dad. He looks like a tramp. Of course, he visits the bookie regularly. Effing loser. Man, you just hope he doesn't recognize you. Get out of here quick and don't ever come back. You're not like him. You've got your shit together. Right, Project Dolly. You look at the spaceship entrance. Only fools don't change their minds. Especially if your debts are mounting. You'll be fine. You just need to make it through this mission. 
they respect professionals like you. Just stay strong and you'll be all right. Wake up your altar. How do I do that? go somewhere else. It doesn't say anything there. Do I have to go down to the wood? Hey there. Uh, wow. Um, hello. Hello. Can can you hear me? Uh, I uh. What is this? Where am I? You're in a lab inside the Siba unit. Your memories might. A bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I recognize the base. I think. Wait, you look funny. You, ha ha. Oh, what was that? I wanted to laugh, but I'm like indifferent. I think you're on some meds. What? It's so you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. But can you? You first. You first. I insist. All right. Jan Dolsky, senior technician at Ally Corp. Mining Operations. There. Did I pass? Wow. Amazing. It actually worked. What? What worked? And who? What the hell are you anyway? This may be hard to process, but... My name is Jan Dolsky, too. <laughs> of course it is. You're not bad for an imitation, but... What the hell are you? Is this some kind of experiment? Hmm? Because if it is, nobody warned me. In a way, it is. But... You're wrong about one thing. I'm not an imitation. So, what's the experiment? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. 
as it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know, it's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. And if I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're an alternate version of me with a different mind? No. You're an alternate version of me. And, uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. Let me get this straight. This is an experiment in which I'm a different version of you. And you brought me to life to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? Um... I won't lie to you. I created, I mean, woke you up because I needed you. It wasn't easy for me either. At least you're up front with me. You bastard. <sighs> I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. What am I? Look, this is a lot and we'll sort it out, I promise. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. What a screw up. A three year old would have figured it out. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. But unfortunately, this is a two man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three, now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Well, wow, this is going to be some interesting stuff. What's this LB? So we're still going to start the engines. Starting a journey. Do you want to automatically collect structures before starting your journey? 
sure. Open the Altus tab. The Altus tab allows you to check the mental and physical study of your altars. The event log on the left provides insight into recent events. Okay, no injuries, minimal radiation, no hunger, ate adequately, pissed off at yarn, he's really irritating. He looks a bit annoyed. Okay. Talk to the altar. Uh, where was he? Can he money? How do I find him? storage. Did I read that right? No, clearly not. Oh, he's in the kitchen. Damn it. It's a really bad base. No, that's not what I wanted. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. You don't get to talk to me like that. I'm in command of this base now. You'll do as I say, or... Or... What? You'll send me back to that giant fish tank? Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work. Modules deteriorate over time, which makes them prone to fails. To repair the communication room, you will need a repair kit. You can craft one in the workshop. All right, this is going really well. Uh, right, we've got to craft a repair kit. Got to remember how to get everywhere. No, that's not it. It's funny, the sleep function has now disappeared. I don't understand. Hang on. I'm lost. Where are we? Ah, workshop. Here we go. Alright, repair kit. Tools and materials necessary to repair a damaged base module. Yeah, the sleep thing's gone. I'm not sure why that is. Now, what do we need to fix? Communication room. Alright, we're gonna go up. Hmm. 
Now I'm assuming Lucas. Uh, hello? Uh, Mr. Dalski? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Are you okay? Uh. I think so. I, I was almost done for it, but then I got these crazy instructions to duplicate and edit myself. Was that you? Uh, yeah. It it's called branching the duplicating and editing thing i need to know if you pulled it off really and i need to know who i'm talking to i didn't catch your name oh uh, lucas peña space traffic control orbital substation l7 now the branching did you do it yeah i created my altar thanks for the help i think is this even you found Rapidium, Mr. Dalski. We needed to act. Uh, right, hang on. So I'm assuming these ones here are sort of like extra questions. What about the mine records? Hmm? What is all that personal data doing in the base computer? Oh, that's, um, uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and, uh, basically everyone. It's confidential, of course, and it kind of saved your life. What went wrong with the landing? What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. No kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Why did everyone do die? Do you know what killed the rest of the crew? Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. No idea why, though. Then how come I survived? You tell me. You know, you're not very informative. I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dalski. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. Uh, and I consented. don't recall consenting to it. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly? They like to put these things in fine print, you know. Someone higher up? I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Uh, I might sound... I might sound young, Mr. Dalski, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I I'm on my own here at the station. But I contacted my boss, and we're good. Nothing to worry about. Have you done this Have before? You done this before? That would be hard, considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I, I didn't know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What historic data? Some old research, nothing important. You're getting me out of here. So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it, safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Second thing, do you think I could see this 
altar of yours? How do you know you're not talking to him? How do you know you're not talking to him right now? You're joking, right? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice try, but I'd know the difference. The emo's oppressant meds, he wouldn't be in a disposition to mess around. How bad is he feeling? He's pissed off at me, won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. You won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. Oh, my grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Of course. Memories. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out to see what happens. Shit, I, um... Uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry. You're in good hands. L7 out. So it sounds kind of dodgy to me. Uh, you learn more about the altar's life and choices by analyzing his life path in the quantum computer module. Well, I already read them all, so, you know. I guess I've got to do it again. It says up the oh okay, it says up the top. Oh, so I can expand and shrink that but he's uh, down in the kitchen. I've been thinking about what you said. You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. I'm serious. You stood up to Dad. I didn't. Oh. Really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, i just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. I build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed?
just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around, here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she... ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. Oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make Mom's famous pierogi? No way we'd find the ingredients here. Oh, jeez. Um... Beer and synthetic starch? Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah. Hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Quality food. Each person in the base consumes one meal. Higher quality meals will have a positive effect on the mood of your altars. Pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh, <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right, yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But... You remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did I come to terms with waking up as tech support for my doppelganger? You might have to give me something stronger than dehydrated dumplings to wrap my head around that. It's hard for me to. Look, I'm as freaked out as you are. Trust me, looking at you, talking to you, revisiting my life, we're in this together. You're freaked out. Imagine how I feel, hating you, but on the other hand, if you didn't exist, you get the idea. And eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay, okay, just kidding. 
I know what you mean. I'm just... not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... Alright, alright. Just... tell me what the plan is. Corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of pen pushers. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. Right. So, until the rescue ship arrives, we'd better watch our own asses. Do they know about me? They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. Tell me you know what to do. All I know is we need to get to a safe place. Then, we'll improvise. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be enough. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. <laughs> that almost sounded like we're planning kids. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. I was hoping I could avoid going through all that again. It was quite a struggle with you. Struggle? <laughs> one day you'll look back and realize I was the easy one. Mark my words. Are you real? More real than you, I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane. What a trip. It's not a trip. It's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original, Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Well, you look like me, but also God like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No, you're not hallucinating. who you are. My name is Jan Dolsky, but I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. Well, there you go. All right, well, clear, defined ending to this one. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to it? It's a very... I don't know, it's an interesting game. Very unique. I haven't seen anything quite like it before, personally. Maybe you have, I don't know. Um, I'm interested to see where the story goes and uh, where it all develops. So I'm looking forward to it, but let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and if you are enjoying the content on this channel, Please do consider subscribing, hit that like button and check out the channel memberships if you want to support the channel further and get early access to these videos. Say hi in the comments, let me know you watching and your thoughts on this demo and game. Uh, I read all the comments and I answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.